<laughs> a couple days after my brother died, I was down at my parents' house, uh, sitting on the edge of their pool. It was above ground, so I'm not bragging. Um, <laughs> sitting... <laughs> I was sitting on the edge of the pool, my feet were in the water, and I noticed a ladybug had fallen into the water. And I was like, you know what? Sad enough week already. No one else dies today. And I scooped this little bug up, and I put it on the deck next to me so it can like dry its wings and go eat aphids or whatever it had planned for the day. And uh, I took a nice picture of it, uh, and I put that picture up on Instagram. And within seconds, I would say, a friend of mine commented, you know what? That's probably your brother. <laughs> <laughs> to which I replied, you know what? No, stupid, that's a ladybug. Uh, my brother was an adult human man. <laughs> Ladybugs are very small. Mark was about 6'2", had no spots. That's how you can tell them apart. It's pretty easy. <laughs> Plus, like, I don't believe in reincarnation, but even if I did, not how it works, right? Like, you don't come back four days later as the adult version of whatever animal you have to be now, right? There's still a life cycle. You have to go from egg to larva to nymph to adult ladybug. It takes two to three weeks. I looked it up on Wikipedia, and that's how I knew that they ate aphids from the beginning of this story. <laughs> also, hell of a demotion, I think, right? Like... If reincarnation is real and the karmic ladder is, is exi like, to go from human to bug, that's not nice. That's not a nice, helpful comment. Like, if you, my brother wasn't perfect. He made some mistakes. If you told me he's a bonobo now, I'd be like, you know what? I'd buy it, but also, I think he would have a nice time. I think he would enjoy the bonobo lifestyle. I think he would be very happy as a wild ape. It's our closest genetic relative. <laughs> So a small bump down, not human bug. That's where <laughs> bugs go on the bottom. And finally, that ladybug was drowning. If I wasn't there, what, that's twice in one week my brother has to die? <laughs> it's not a helpful comment, Leanne Marie, who is here. She came all the way from Pennsylvania to watch, and she knew I was gonna do this because she's seen this show a couple of times. <laughs> and every time I told her, I was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna call you out by name this time. And I've, she's seen me do it enough times where she knew, you knew it was gonna happen. <laughs> you are my friend. And I know you mean well, like I'm, I know I'm making fun of everybody trying to help me. <laughs> I know everybody means well. I just think, I don't know, I'm going to give you that giant picture of the ladybug, by the way. <laughs> because, one, uh, when I ordered these prints, they, these are a lot bigger than I thought they were going to be. I don't have a lot of uh, room in my house for a four-foot poster of a buck. <laughs> but you can have it because you're my friend. And I feel bad for constantly doing this bit. <laughs> not bad enough to not do it, let's be clear. 